We've been reporting tonight on the tragedy in Nahan. A family found dead in their home. Elevated levels of carbon monoxide also found. Dr. Todd Ellerin of South Shore uh, Health Hospital, all of those things joins us now. We do not know the details. We don't know exactly what happened here. What are the biggest concerns when it comes to carbon monoxide? Yeah, I heard you say this before in your last segment. It is the silent killer. Yep. Why? Because carbon monoxide is odorless, colorless, tasteless. So those levels can rise in homes and you just don't know it. You don't know. And, and a detector, that's always a really important idea. But let's go over some of the symptoms. If you're feeling what? What should people watch for? Right. The problem, Maria, is they're nonspecific symptoms. They're often flu-like. People can have a headache, dizziness, a little lightheaded, nausea, vomiting. You know many people know. have the GI bug, respiratory bug. You can have these symptoms. Late symptoms, of course, loss of consciousness, you know, and, and, and it, it, chest pain. The, the, those are things that are really late and, you know, you want to try to get. That's why you cannot underscore what you said about the early warning detection with those carbon monoxide detectors. Because that could be that the is game key. changer. Yeah. That's better because if you're waiting to say, oh, well, I feel weird. Why do I feel weird? And then it becomes too late. Right. Right, and that, that's the concern. So we're always looking out for our older relatives, especially this time of year. So when do we go over to our parents' house or your neighbor's house? What kinds of things should we be looking for? Right, and this for? is important because it's winter. We use more heating devices. Some of those devices can have carbon monoxide as a byproduct. You know, fireplaces, we want to make sure they're fireplaces. If they're using them, that the flu is, is clean, and so you yep. want that checked. Um, if they have furnaces, is it ventilated to the outside? That's really important. Ventilation. The other problem with the winter is we keep our windows closed and we keep our doors closed, so there's less ventilation. There's more room for that carbon, uh, carbon monoxide to rise. So I think those are the most important things. Here's one other thing. With these extreme weather, portable generators, we're using portable oh, generators so more as we're losing electricity. Garage. Get them out of the garage. It's get so them true. outside. It's responsible for some of the carbon monoxide deaths in the U.S. So we've, we've been talking to you since the beginning of COVID for, for, for a couple of years now. Um, we talked to you back at the very beginning of January. It's already January 9th. Uh, dry January, just checking in. I know you said it's too early, but listen, how are you doing? Listen, so far, I've been 100%. 100%. Yep. And, but it's only one week, but I'm feeling good. Okay. I, am, I have a partner in crime right now. So okay. my girlfriend's doing it with me, so it's okay. kind of motivating to keep well, it going. I think people are curious and, and I they'd feel like good. to know. Yeah, sleeping better, I, a little more energy. Okay, yeah. good. Good to know. Thank Great. you.